We are coming up on yet another big week of new game releases, a lot of big stuff to go over, so let's get right into it with the PS4 and PS5 games this week. Right off the top, let's start off with the biggest game this week, I would have to say that would be Deathloop, coming from Arcane Studios. Yes, this is a game published by Bethesda, but Sony had worked out an exclusivity agreement with Bethesda before the acquisition by Microsoft, so they are going to honor that, of course, and the game is out tomorrow. This is a game that's been getting quite a a bit of buzz we did a dedicated video going over all of the information regarding this game and it is a very very unique game you play as the main character called he's stuck in a time loop and the idea of the game is to assassinate eight different targets within a single loop there is a multiplayer aspect to the game a multiplayer element that is optional you can disable it if you want there is another character juliana who's kind of an invader trying to stop cult and it's a very cat and mouse style of gameplay when you do play that multiplayer component if you do disable invasions juliana is just controlled by ai so you can play the game either way it'll be interesting to see what level of longevity is attached to the game because i really think that's going to be the make or break for a game like this because yes while i think it can be a lot of fun to go through the loop and figure out what is the best play style i think the element of multiplayer with juliana is going to add a lot of fun how do you keep that fresh for the long term and that is going to be something i think Deathloop does have to get right and hopefully they do get that right because this could be a killer new ip for arcane studios and arcane of course did dishonor they did pray and when you look Look at Deathloop, a lot of similarities to Dishonored from the abilities, the presentation style. Dishonored vibes the whole way through, and that's exciting to me because I love Dishonored. Uh, Deathloop is out tomorrow, September the 14th. Next up, we have the PlayStation release of Project Winter, a survival multiplayer game, the perfect game to backstab your friends. Project Winter is an eight-person multiplayer game focusing on social deception and survival. Communication and teamwork is essential to the survivor's ultimate goal of escape. Gather resources, repair structures, and brave the wilderness together. Obviously, I've said it before, but survival games aren't really my cup of tea. However, the social deception element of the game definitely does add a bit of a nuance to the title. You can play as a survivor or you can be the traitor. As a traitor, your goal is to stop the survivors from escaping without being identified or killed. Obviously, this is reminiscent to some games that you may have played very recently that have gotten pretty popular, but still in the style of this as being a survival game with a lot of survival elements, teamwork, communication, and deception is going to be at the heart of the experience project winner is due out this week for ps4 and playable on ps5 next up we have tales of iron this is a game i've been following for a little bit and i've been trying to get people to realize that this game is coming up but tales of iron is touted to be an epic rpg adventure with punishingly brutal combat as reggie heir to the throne you must embark on a perilous quest to reclaim your kingdom explore a deceivingly charming world assemble a band of uh, brave companions banish the merciless frog clan to me the game right away gave me some vibes of castle crashes although being a little bit more gruesome than castle crashes we got some blood in the game and a little bit more mature looks like it's going to be a relatively difficult game as well so definitely not going to be one that's for the faint of heart but tales of iron is a game that i highly recommend you to keep on your radar again this one is due out september the 17th next up we have the amazing american circus roll up and play a deck building game like no other gather weird and wonderful performers amaze audiences explore gilded age america and transform your rundown circus into an entertainment empire play your cards right and you could claim the crown of greatest showman from pt barnum a card game mixed with some crafting elements as well maybe not a game that's gonna be up everyone's alley but i thought it had a cool look and i thought it was worth a mention this is set in the dying days of the wild west where history mingles with magical realism and ethnic folklore listen to an atmospheric soundtrack inspired by classic circus music and american country and folk as you travel to 90 cities and towns across four vast regions of the continental u.s encounter mythical creatures from such as the wendigo and bigfoot alongside historical figures including susan b anthony and nicola tesla and queen victoria so a lot of iconic figures there this one is due out september the 16th next up another pretty notable release here origami 2 if you haven't played origami 1 it's a ninja stealth action game and it was a pretty good game i actually have the special edition of the game i got it one year when i was at pax and i really enjoyed the title origami 2 is a third person stealth game where you play as an assassin with the power to control the shadows join the shadow clan and fight the invader armies to protect your people the visuals aren't anything to write home about has a very 
colorful look, but also I think a lot of people will take it as a more of a cartoony look. I like the visual style, but maybe it won't be for everyone. When in game, I do think the game looks quite good. And it notes, become the master of a skill-based combat system with high risk and high reward. Craft your weapons and armors and upgrade your elite warrior with a wide variety of, of abilities and shadow power. Save your people and defeat the curse before it ends with you and discover how the Aragami became a legend. You're one of the last elite warriors of your kin, the Aragami. Victims of a supernatural affliction which corrodes the body and devours the mind. The Aragami controls shadow essence, a mystical power which grants the ability to control the shadows. With this power, the Aragami carry out their tasks and quests. Assignments made along the valley to ensure the substance of the village and to free the Aragami enslaved by the invader armies. The game is due out September 17th. Next up, we have Titan Chaser. Titan Chaser is set in a mystical landscapes and if you want to work Titans, Titan Chaser is a surreal driving and walking experience where your job is to scout giant creatures and use the light to drive them off without fighting or killing them. So it is described to be more of a relaxing game and it did receive a very positive reception. 297 Steam user reviews, 84% positive on that end and it was released at a $4.99 budget price point. In Titan Ch Chaser, they note, walk and interact with the environment and your car. Drive your car in a fairly large open world. Listen to the music in your car. Relax and observe a mystical landscape. Scout Titans, do your job and make the Titans go away using lights and environments to discover the story and personality of the protagonist through her commentaries about surroundings. A pretty interesting game if you like more chill, relaxing games and light on the combat. Obviously, there's no combat, but this is one that might be something worth checking out. It's out this weekend. Again, $5 is a budget title and lastly we have the release of a dustwind on playstation this is one that's available on pc and has been since august of 2018 a post-apocalyptic isometric rpg of sorts are you ready for classic real-time tactics be the nameless heroine in the wastelands of dustwind story campaign fight against and with human players in the elaborate multiplayer mode or design your very own story campaigns and maps in the mighty map editor so with a map editor probably gonna have an extension on top of that. The long-awaited story campaign contains 16 missions with a playtime of around 10 hours and tells an emotional story. Collect weapons and gear. Develop your character based on your gameplay preferences and become a leading figure in these dark times. The game had a mostly positive reception on Steam. 243 Steam user reviews. 76% of those reviews are positive, so not the best received game in the world, but if you're a fan of tactics-based games, you know, giving me an XCOM vibe for sure might be something to check out in the future and that is gonna do it for me again not the biggest week in game releases compared to like last week where we did have a ton of new games with tales of rise life is strange nba if you're into that uh this week death loop is the highlight but a couple of other smaller games are rounding things out that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.